Hey, my name is Jake Spainauer, and I chose to do my presentation on the Walmart inventory shrinkage case. Um, the basic facts of this case is it follows Shane O'Hara, and he was recently promoted to be a manager at a Walmart in um, Atomic City, Idaho. And he'd been sent there to try to reduce shrinkage, which is basically just inventory lost or stolen. And this store had been historically known for having high shrinkage and his job was to reduce that so the store wouldn't get closed. Um, he, uh, he was able to do this by hiring a manager to oversee the inventory and by keeping a close eye on the shrinkage. Um, but the management of the Walmart, the, up, the higher ups, weren't very happy and the shrinkage rate had dropped so much that they were concerned that there was some fraudulent activity going on. So an investigation was, um, they opened up an investigation on his store. Shane uh, talked to another manager of another Walmart that had recently been in an investigation and she admitted that her store had actually committed fraud in the same way the year before. And um, they basically did it by saying that if there was a missing, for example, if there's a missing shirt, they would say that the shirt was really there, but it was just in the hamper because someone had tried it on and didn't want it anymore. Um, and this knowledge of this fraud had been kept quiet until now. So basically Shane and the other manager are the only people that know about it. Um, so here's some of the questions that I'll answer that are in the, the case questions. Uh, so first we'll examine the stakeholders. So the biggest stakeholder is Shane. Um, he has a couple big problems on his hands. First, he has his own store, which after hearing about the fraud at the other store, um, it's likely that this fraud had been happening in his store as well. And he also has the knowledge of this fraud that had been taking place at the other stores. Um, the other manager is also a key player. She has, her store had been fraudulent and she knows about it. Uh, Jeffrey Cook is Shane's boss. He's conducting the investigation and he also has a bonus at stake because his bonuses are affected by the performance of the Walmarts. And then all the employees that are at stake, if they lose their jobs, they can, if the fraud is found and they need to shut down the Walmart, then they'll lose their jobs. So what should be done? Um, so he shouldn't let the culture of Walmart affect him. It's simply a case of right versus wrong. He has something that is hurting the company and will hurt the company long term, and he needs to talk to Cook about this immediately. The longer he waits, the more problems that will arise. Um, his job could be at stake if he if he tries to cover this up. So it's in his best interest as well to talk to Cook. He also needs to talk to Cook about the other store and the fraud. Um, it's not really being a tattletale in this case. It's a whistleblow that needs to be done because this is something that can hurt the company. Um, and uh, he could see some problems obviously with the other store manager that won't let him, won't want him telling on him, on her. And also Cook might have some problems with this if he comes forward about the fraud because his bonus will be affected. So the plan of action, he needs to put his ethics and reputation first and not worry about performance and not be scared of what other people will think. Um, like I said earlier, if he remains silent, he'll likely lose his job, and he could possibly lose his job even if he whistle blows, but that's in his best interest, and it's in the company's best interest. Um, these fraudulent acts, although they seem like they are beneficial short-term, they'll just hurt everyone long-term. So he needs to be persistent with Cook. He needs to come out and say, and it highlight this, that the, it's in the company's best interest to um, report the fraud and he needs to come up with a plan of action with Cook, who's his direct superior. Uh, and then, like I said, this needs to be done immediately. And if he can come up with a plan of action on this, it can hopefully stop the problem before it continues to grow and they could possibly catch this problem in other Walmarts. Um, I think this is his best route to go and he needs to be direct and he needs to act quick. Thank you.